Good day, everyone. It's your girl, Precious Williams, proud founder and CEO of Perfect Pitches by Precious. And I'm coming to you today. It's hashtag testimonial, hashtag testimonial Tuesday. And I want to share some things with you that I think we all really need to pay attention to. So I'm going to ask this question. When is the right time? In the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of social unrest, racial inequality, police brutality, and everything that's going on. A lot of people are scared, they're shook, they don't know what to say, and they don't know what to do. So I wanted to come to you all and ask you, when is the right time? When the pandemic started, I really thought it would last hmm, two weeks. It's been three months, right? And then following behind that came a lot of other things. And I saw strong women and men, entrepreneurs, speakers, just kind of fold in. And it frightened me. I almost bought the Kool-Aid that no one's buying, no one's booking, no one's this and that. And I found quite the opposite was happening for me. And so I wanted to give a voice to that and to actually ask you the question, when is the right time for you to unleash your brilliance? When is the right time for you to show the world what you're truly made of? When is the right time for you to put yourself out there so that you can be not only visible, but know that your voice is critical at a time like this. You need to be helping people because that lifts you out of the funk and the muck and the mire that you're constantly seeing on television. And if I'm saying anything to you that resonates, put a comment, show me some love for real, because I don't just speak to sell. That is not what I do. A lot of what I do is give permission to entrepreneurs to do what they should be doing. Don't give up, y'all. Please, please, please don't give up. I remember the almost two years I sat in a program. And I was told I'd never speak again. Who cares about me because I'm freaking homeless? How in the world am I ever going to get the world to pay me attention? When I've crashed and burned and messed up. Hey, Tendra. Hey, Kendrick. Hey, Regina. How in the world? And you know what I did? I didn't believe my naysayers and my haters. Again, I thanked my naysayers and my haters because you made me grind. You made me get out there and show that no matter what is happening, I can do it. And you see these beautiful people who are sitting here watching me, they know my struggle. I was just like a lot of you. And I believed that no one would pay me attention. And that the, the greats who used to champion me had kicked me to the curb. And I needed to be seen with her and her and her and him. But they wouldn't take my calls because I had messed up that bad. So I had to create a lane for myself. And that started with who was I hanging with? Who was I hanging with? Who was really in my network? Who rocked with me when nobody would rock with me? And the people that believe the lies about me, fuck them all. I don't care. Because they weren't going to make sure that I ate. You know who made sure that I ate? People who didn't look anything like me. Open doors because they could see my talent and they could see my strength and they could see my ability and no one did what I did. As a killer pitch master. I wasn't just a motivational speaker and no tea, no shade on it. But I had to show that I teach a talent and a skill set that most people do not have. You can listen to all the speakers in the world, but very few people can tell you how to come out of homelessness and severe addiction and everything and still make it. 
and not go back to the very people who dissed me before. I love the people who open doors, even without me asking. And that told me you need to start asking your network for help and for opportunities. The people that you're hanging around truly can set you, set the world on fire for you, or they can make the world hate you. Watch who you're hanging around. When is it the right time? I'm telling you right now is the right time. My granddaddy used to say, R-A-H-T, right now. So you may be looking at me, I have one front tooth. One. And people told me, you can't get on camera. You can't have people looking at you looking like that. Can I tell you, in the midst of a pandemic, and in the midst of social unrest, I'm hashtag booked and busy. Stop playing with me. I let them know in the beginning. I only have one tooth. You're not seeing an illusion. But I fell down the stairs at a speaking gig and knocked my tooth out. In a pandemic, I can't get my tooth fixed. So you know what? I show up and I show out regardless. When is the right time, my people? When is the right time? The time is right now. It's right now. I am committed to raising money for the Bowery Mission Women's Center and also for Bottomless Closet, who made sure that I was Trump tight, looking cute when I would go on my job interviews. And I got my job interviews. I got the job. There is not, I only had two interviews and I got both jobs. Stop playing. I don't have those jobs anymore because I got rid of them. I'm supposed to be the killer pitch master. Some of you have struggled with the hardest things that life has had to offer. You might believe the Kool-Aid that no one wants to work with you. I'm here to tell you that's not true. I'm here to tell you what is true is that there are people who need you and they need the real story, not the sanitized ink entrepreneur fast company version of your story. I'm going to tell you, hell yeah, I was homeless. Hell yeah, I had a, a severe alcohol addiction. I was grieving. I was hurting and I turned into the worst person. I left clients hanging years ago because I couldn't deal with the reality is of success. And I have begged for forgiveness. The people who aren't telling you the truth, you don't believe them anyway. I know I don't look like the Kardashians. I know I don't have the money that the Kardashians have. I know I don't have a small waist, big hips, big booty, big everything. I don't have a fake body. But if you believe the lies of the media, you need to look like this to make it. I'm here to tell you that is not true. The world needs your story. The world needs to know what you've overcome so they can trust that you can help them overcome. When is the right time? The right time is now, my peoples. Stop playing in these streets. I don't care that you can see I only have one tooth and a little fake something that the other tooth, the other crown was I don't care about none of that. Because I show up and I show out. I wasn't given anything. But from God, my gift and my talent of speech and connection. One that was nurtured by my grandmother, Precious Williams. One that was nurtured when I was in inner city of St. Louis, Missouri. And I was speaking to the governor and the mayor. And I went to an inner city high school. That opened doors. I got a full ride to Spelman College plus $180,000 in scholarships. Stop playing with me. That didn't just happen. I've had the gift for so long. But I bought the Kool-Aid that I had to show up perfect. Everything had to be on point. Everything had to be right. No. I don't have the greatest lighting and everything that you see everybody else have. If, I, if that really worked, people would be so much further along than they are. I'm not here to pretend to be perfect. When I show up on stage, y'all know I thug it out. When I do my virtual trainings, I thugs it out. I thugs it out. I don't play no games. Don't believe for a second that when you see a black woman, a black man, an Asian woman, an Asian man, a Latina woman, or a Latina man, that we're the token. No, I promise you, we work to get there. Doors don't just open like that. I have allies who've opened doors. I have my people of color who've opened doors. I've had powerful people open doors. And I didn't sleep my way to get here. Trust and believe that, my peoples. I don't have an OnlyFans account. I ain't doing nothing strange for change. 
I live in a house with my pastor and his beautiful wife and their beautiful daughter. I'm on the third floor of a mansion, in my opinion. But before that, they knew who they were dealing with. They knew who they were dealing with. I'm grateful for everything. So I want to be clear. When is the right time, my people? When's the right time? It's right now. Get in there and show up. Some of y'all are afraid that if you don't talk about Black Lives Matter and stuff like that, listen. There's a lot of things talked about on television, on the news and everything like that. Bring your unique light to the world. Bring it. Because you can't eat a steady digestion of negativity and hardship all day. So bring in your energy. Bring in the funk and bring in the noise. Be different. And I'm going to keep saying that until I'm blue in the face. I don't care who I got to face off with. Somebody want to test me on pitching? Bring it. I'm ready all day, every day. You want to talk about overcoming obstacles? Bring it. I can do that all day, every day. You want to talk pe about people who've been through some sh been through hell and have risen above? I can do that all day, every day because my people need me. And my people means people of color. My people means white people. My people means my allies, my friends, everybody. Hear what I'm saying. I'm here for all y'all. Because y'all open doors when doors would not open from these top people that we subscribe to and believe that they have the secret and the magic. And No, they don't. They have a name. They've utilized their name. But what if you don't have a name? Keep, keep it thuggy, my people. Keep it thuggy. You build your name. You create your own lane. It's a great Ty Goodwin says, until you step into your purpose, another woman or man can't step into theirs. Some people need to see it happen before they know they can do it. And then you have trailblazers like me who've had to just do it. There was no roadmap. So be the roadmap for other people. When is the right time? The right time is right now. And I want you to share this video with your network. Share it with people you know need to hear it. Like, comment, give it to me. Give it to me. Because I ain't going to tell you what you're going to see on social media all day long. That's not my job. My job is not to just reiterate or regurgitate what you can read on Google. Fast, like, I'm not here for that. People are struggling right now. What can you do to, to, to change their trajectory, their life trajectory, their career trajectory, their business trajectory? Keep your ear to the ground. Keep your ear to what's happening and create solutions. Even if you're two steps ahead of where you used to be. I'm from the hood of St. Louis, Missouri. People laugh and joke about my accent. I don't pay it no mind because you know my name and I don't know yours. You can hate on me all day long. Please do it. You don't like my wig? You don't like the fact that I have one too? Bring it. If I sat and worried about what people said about me all day, every day, I wouldn't have started my company, Perfect Pitches by Precious. I wouldn't have started Curvy Girls Lingerie. I wouldn't have clients out the yin-yang. I wouldn't work with Ty Goodwin or Danielle Fitzpatrick Clark or Jess Hervey with Mocha Business Services or work with Lisa DeToful. I wouldn't work with these people. But I am not alone in my process. I have a team behind me that gets me right. And I show up. I show up and I show up ready. You have a lot to offer the world. Don't give up and don't give in, my people. Don't give up and don't give in. I works with everyone. Everyone. Don't care your color, your race, your creed, your age. Listen, I'm 41 years old. I've been told to hang it up because, hey, I'm not as fresh and beautiful as I used to be. And if I bought the Kool-Aid, I would think that there's no room for me. So I created a table. I have a seat at my table. Come have a seat with me because this is where you belong. You can listen to the gurus all day long. I promise you they haven't had your struggles. Some of them have been given a lot of money to get to where they got to. But is that improving your life? Do you have to pay to play to be around them? Think about that. I'm not hating on nobody, no tea, no shade. Yes, I've had people come talk to me 
and then go with a bigger guru not knowing rock with the people who will rock with you and who were there before you had a dime in your pocket so if I said anything that resonates please ask me questions I have a client a client meeting with Bianca at 12 a client meeting with Kimona at 1 and I have a steady stream of client meetings but I thought it was important to be here with you all today um, and to share with you what's been on my heart when is the right time bring it like comment and share this video it was created for you don't give up and don't give in and create your own lane this is not the time to feel like oh I got to be in this person's program. Oh, I got to be in that person's program because they have so many millions of followers. And oh my God, I can do it like the Kardashians. Okay, you can believe that all you want. Rock with the people who rock with you. Rock with the people who've actually been through the things you've been through. Please. And this is not taken away from the Kardashians. It's not taken away from anyone who came from money and made it work. Listen, entrepreneurship is hard. It's hard. The decisions that you have to make is hard. Whether you are filthy rich and wealthy or you have not a dime. I started with negative $400 and freaked it into $500,000 and freaked it into another $150,000 in pitch competition and prize money. I've been told all my life I'm not good enough. And finally, in my 40s, not only am I good enough, I'm magnificent. I'm the killer pitch master. I don't, I don't besmirch young people. In fact, I love talking to young people because they just make me laugh and they have an insight that is not often talked about in the media. I met a young woman named Vanessa, Columbia, Columbia uh, University grad uh, two weeks ago. And we were just talking via Zoom and just going in. And I was like, I'm loving your energy. I'm loving the funk and the fire. And the one thing I want you to know is move take action fail you're not going to get that out of the regular media fail do anything you want to do fail because you're going to fail your way to greatness you have all the time in the world you're listening to a media that says you got to be a billionaire at 21 like somebody else no you don't fail your way up fail fail try it all out don't get like some of us who waited until our 40s to come into our own fail try if that doesn't work out try again on something else you got all the time in the world i'm 41 i feel like i just got started i'm in my zone of genius and for all the people that talk down on me i wish you well i wish you well i don't know your name but you show no mind i love you all and even if you're 40 years old like i am Take chances. We're in the midst of a pandemic and social unrest. Take the chance. And stand in your purpose. You are ready for greatness. Go get it. Create your own lane. Am I saying it's easy? No. When I started being the killer pitch master in 2013, you know, of course I had clients that had already seen me on stage and stuff like that. But then there was a time it grew quiet because I was running two companies at the same time, not giving my, my all to one or the other. I bought in the wrong people. I made hella mistakes and became a severe alcoholic. I, I didn't deal well with success and now I can deal so much better and I can help other people. So let's get it. Let's get it. You, didn't, you, you fucked up. You made some mistakes. Guess what? We all did. We all did. And by God's grace and mercy, I'm right here with you. You've been told that you don't matter. You've been told that you're a mistake. You've been told by your family that you'll never make it. I've heard all of that. Heard all of that. I was beaten up by my mom. Abused, tortured. Nobody said anything. Nobody called the cops until I was almost beaten to death on November 18th, 1991. My life hasn't been a crystal stair. But as Maya Angelou said, like dust, I rise. 
So take it from me. I have one front tooth, one half of a front tooth. I wear wigs like I change my underwear every day. And I'm here because I want to show you that being different matters. So walk in your authentic light and in your authentic purpose. We've all messed up. And this like, Amanda, you're right. Nobody, six-figure success. Come, listen, new level, new devils, as Danielle Jervie Harmon says. There's always new levels to this. You think you've encountered hate, right? You think you've encountered hate. Trust me, as you go up that ladder, more hate comes. That's why I don't do cancel culture. It's very hard for the world to hate on you and to feel good about yourself. It's very hard. All of us will make mistakes and people will want to cancel us. Don't cancel yourself. You're doing more than most of the world is. And so people take it upon themselves to want to go in hard on you and say you're a bum. And let me tell you something. Stand tall. Rock with the people who rock with you. And when times get rough, see who puts groceries on your table. I can thank, I, I thank Master Network. I thank Dynamite Networking Group, Sarah Zambruto, Rajiv. Um, I thank Jason, uh, Linda. I thank my Master Network family. I thank Judy. I thank James Seth Thompson. I thank Sharon Monet. I thank Tony Moore. I thank Tandra. I thank Amanda. I thank Victoria Holland. I thank Jason Muhammad. I thank I thank all of you because I can't remember everyone who's helped me on my journey. But do know it's hashtag Testimonial Tuesday. Y'all are in my zone of genius. Kelly Charles Collins, um, Laura D. Harvard, Cindy Constable. Um, The Bowery Mission Women's Center. I thank all y'all. I thank Bottomless Closet, Dress for Success Worldwide. I thank Microsoft, LinkedIn, Google, eBay, We NYC. Um, I thank the Accessories Council. I thank everyone who has ha ha keeps me hashtag booked and busy. I remember when I had uh, surgery years ago, I put out an all call and said, I don't have any groceries. When I tell you groceries came to my front door, groceries were delivered to my front door. My refrigerator and freezer had so much food. For all y'all who gave to me, please believe. I appreciate it. And I have never forgot that. If you're struggling, reach out to your network. Fall on your sword and just say, I don't have it. Can you help me? You'll be surprised who, who can help you. Because they have gone through it too. So I have to go. I have to meet with my client, Bianca. I hope this resonated with all of you all. I am Precious Williams, the proud founder and CEO a perfect pitches by Precious. I am the hashtag killer pitch master. And I have a new book that's coming out called the Bad Bitches and Power Pitches uh, workbook that debuts on June 16th. If you want um, the link to get into pre-order, let me know. And also, I am teaching a masterclass called Precious Fix My Pitch. And it's going to be a live masterclass. I'm going to teach you things I've never taught you before. It's free. And I want you to know, I'd love to see you in the room. Ask me for the link below, and I will make sure that you get it. It's free. It's a master class, and I'm going to teach three to four people live how to improve their pitch on the spot. I play no games in these streets. Let's get it, and let's go. If you want the link to purchase my new Book, the Bad Bitches and Power Pitches workbook, which is different from Bad Bitches and Power Pitches, the first one you got. This is a companion piece to it. Number two, if you want an invitation to the bad, uh, if you want an invitation to Precious Fix My Pitch, the live masterclass is two hours live, and I'm going in and it's free. I'm going to show you what I've never taught you about pitching. And let me assure you, I plays no games. I'll see you later, everybody. I love you. Got to meet with my client, Bianca. Love you all. Take care, and thank you for the love, the support, the likes, the comments, and please share this video. They need it. Love you all. Bye.